Hi Pops, Ollie Wolf here, and boy have I got a creepy story to tell you. I was just outside, and as you guys should know by now, I walk my dogs very, very early in the morning. Um, maybe at about 5.24 or 5.30, but I felt different this time. I felt calm. And usually everything's dead silent whenever I go out there. Well, there was night bugs still up, and there was wind blowing, and it was really calm for once. And I felt fine until there was a chill down my spine and everything dropped dead silent. Literally, the wind stopped, the bug stopped, and my dog, Boots, started barking. And usually Ina would be the one to start barking, but this time it was Boots, which kind of freaked me out a little bit. Because Boots only barks at strangers, dogs he haven't met before, um... And if other dogs bark, then he's obviously going to bark back. But usually those dogs are caged. I didn't see anything, I didn't hear anything, and I didn't see any silhouettes in the dark. He just started barking. So I got kind of freaked out, and then another chill went down my spine, and Ina started whimpering like crazy, and she was trying to hide in between my legs and behind me, and I... That's whenever the feeling got stronger. I felt like I was being watched, and no matter which way I turned, nobody was there. But I felt like it could have been on my roof, from the trees. It felt like I was being watched from above, and not in a good way. Someone was playing tricks on me. And so Ian was freaked out. And, um, like... I just didn't know what to do. So, um, I have a screen door and an actual door. Now, the screen door was shut, but the actual door was open. Um, and the, the, the cat, my cat, Liberty, was just looking at me through the, the screen door. But I knew, I just had a feeling that he, he wasn't the one that was looking at me. Plus, I didn't see the door open, the door that shows inside of our house. I didn't see it open. I think that I left it partially open whenever I walked outside. And maybe he opened it the rest of the way with his paw or his face or something. Um, but he was just watching me. And right as I looked at him, everything became calm again. You cannot tell me that is not creepy as heck. But that's whenever I got the feeling that someone was running at me, that someone was moving towards me, maybe with a knife, or with an urge to hurt me, and then I had another chill down my spine. So I took Boots, I picked him up, got him off the chain, and me, Ina, and Boots ran inside faster than the speed of light. If not possible, then almost as fast as the speed of light. Now, as I just said, you cannot tell me that is not creepy. That is not a coincidence. Someone was out there, and someone was coming for me. There's, there's no other way to say it. Boots is usually calm whenever I put him on the chain, and he never barks. Ina's never scared. She's usually really open-minded, and if she sees a dog, she's probably going to run towards it, not away from it. And same with people. If there's a person, they're probably not going to run away from it. They're probably going to run towards it and bark like crazy at it. But there was nobody there and I didn't hear anything. So tell me what you guys think in the comments section below. I've got to go now. Goodbye.